to young black kids and these stereotypes that, it, you know, in order for you to be successful or in order for you to be cool or popular, you got to be uh, a rapper or a singer in terms of like pop. And I, I love the fact that First Stage is providing at a very early age and targeting a specific audience being young people the opportunity to understand that you can advance as a creative child Mm -hmm. because a lot of creative kids like I was, we talk a lot and we're very outspoken. We get put in this box because we're black. You with me, Jeff? Yeah. And so to be able to live in a community where y'all first stage are coming to us, which is equity and reminding us or introducing to us that theater is a very, very critical component to a creative child success. Do not shut them up. Do not put them in a corner. Do not put them on Ritalin. Take them to the first stage theater. I am telling you as a product of, of a parent who did not, when teachers were saying she was disruptive, cut her off, put her in special yeah. ed, theater saved my life. It really did. Yeah. And so I'm hoping that as parents of creative kids are listening Take the kids to see this play. Please take them to all the first stage productions because the earlier that you expose them to this type of artistry, you're going to see them excel. Yeah. And Jeff, just to, just to add on to that and, and just asking the question, how do you identify someone that does have those type of skills that you can say, hey, they may end up being this or they may end up being that, even though it's, it's looked upon as being disruptive now? Oh, yeah. A couple of things. Um, One, you know, First Stage has always prided itself in the fact that when young people see other young people on stage, their connection to that material is is more profound, right? Mm -hmm. That's why we do what we do. And when you say that at the heart, you, you it's also incumbent upon us as an organization that our shows really reflect our community. Right. And all its wonderful, complex diversity that's there. Right. So having opportunities for young people to come and be a part of our academy from age, you know, four on up through high school. Age four. Yeah. That's incredible. Take four. Go now. That's that's right. And so it's that combination of having a training program, which is really focusing on teaching life skills through stage skills. And just Mm -hmm. like you, what theater can do for you as a human in terms of helping you develop. I was the other end of the spectrum. I was a super shy kid who theater helped draw me out. Right. And that's a beautiful thing is that whether you are have all the energy in the world and you need to learn to channel that energy mm-hmm. and focus it. Right. Um, but and, and the, that, that same thing that every child has a gift. Mm. And if they don't have a chance to explore that gift. And if that is your gift, this world of theater, this world of creative thinking, uh, problem solving, you got to go. And here's the thing. I, I've got to share this, too. But if you're just tuning in, we have. First stage artistic director, Jeff Frank, live here in the studio, which I so appreciate because, again, this is a true demonstration of equity. You know, it's oftentimes we we as a community, we know we have the talent. We know that we have the gift, but it's the feeling of belonging. Like, you know, sometimes it's it's hard to go into a room and when you don't see anybody that looks like you. And you immediately think, you know, do I belong here? I'll give you an example. I told you I did theater, right, as a young kid. Yeah. Guess what the first play that I I uh, got a role in, not making this up. Just guess. It's very, very, very promise. The Wiz. Nope. Nope. The Odd Couple. Neil ah. Simon. That was my first role. And just so that for those that aren't familiar, uh, <laughs> The Odd Couple is about two divorced men who live together extremely opposite that'd be like me and telly living together like, we would be the odd couple and um i was i was a young black girl playing you know in this predominantly white if not all white uh-huh. performance and my audition song was my favorite things from the sound of music i'm saying that to say this i knew it that in the 80s and, and 90s you know it, it just part of conditioning i was going to be the only one First stage, keep doing what you're doing. Oh, thank you. And I love how you come to us because we tired of always having to go to y'all. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. So I love how the first stage is, is coming to us. They, they have a partnership. They're giving access and exposure and they're not doing it in a way where it's like the white savior. Yeah. 
Yeah. You, see, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, this is what is going to help young black kids in this community know that being creative, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, and uh, and then sure. going back to tell you, your, your other question, too, we do a lot of work in the in classrooms around Milwaukee through our theater and education programs, and it, it opens up. Um, uh, again, opportunities for different types of learners or different voices to be heard, right? So when we're in there giving young people a chance not to respond in, on a written test, but like say we're going in and exploring um, colonial America, right? We get the students up on their feet acting and applying knowledge and, and it gives teachers an opportunity to see their young people in different ways, mm. right? So this person that might not have tested well actually got up in this moment and demonstrated that they understood the concepts of what was happening at that time mm. in a way that this other student might have been able to answer the multiple choice test and get it right, but not really fully comprehend. So I love that, that it gives opportunities for young people to shine. And that's also a lot of times how we might find people, right? Mm. Um, and discover that, oh, hey, this might be a window for you. Yes. Right? What I saw today, your, how you thought creatively in that moment or how you really listened and, and interacted Right. Let's step in this. Come take this class. Right. And, and we have um, our family partnership program. Make sure that we can offer any sort of financial assistance to anybody who needs it for any of our program. Can you say that slower, please? Because, you know, right now, <laughs> right? a loaf of bread is a million dollars. Can you say it again, Jeff? We have never turned anyone away because of financial need for our theater academy. Right. There are also programs um, for our tickets. Right. Um, so we have our pay what you choose, which is always the second Friday of our run where you can. You pay literally what you choose, right? You can come and, and we just want people to come see the show and experience. Because I feel like once you come to see a show, you're going to come back. 